The Master's Mysteries Tales of Magical Mastery Episode 6 In the morning, as the sky brightened, Liao Fengyi woke up from his slumber. For someone who hadn't slept for two days and nights, this sleep felt extremely comfortable. Ah, slept so well. According to the old road suggestion, they should find a village to stay for the night. However, Liao Fengyi had been living in the mountains since he was young and had already gotten used to it. He and the old man found a sheltered cliff, lit a fire, and spent the night. Master Dao, did you sleep well last night? Let's tidy up and hit the road. Liao Fengyi silently mocked himself. The old man was nagging about this matter all night. It's not like he dislikes it, but rather finds it troublesome. These people in the martial world are so pretentious. But when Liao Fengyi turned his head to look at the old man, he was immediately stunned. At that moment, the old man was sleeping so soundly, snoring loudly. Help! What? What's wrong? In this peaceful morning, a cry for help suddenly came from below the cliff, startling not only Liao Fengyi, but also the sleeping old man. Oh no! That beast is going to harm someone. Without bothering to pack their things, they hurried to the edge of the cliff and looked down, only to be surprised by what they saw. Let's go. Let's go down and take a look. It turned out that below the cliff was a small mountain path, and at that moment, a wild howling black dog was viciously attacking an old man. Don't. Don't come closer. The old man on the mountain path appeared to be in his sixties, and he was frightened by the ferocious black dog chasing him. He ended up sitting on the ground in a panic. Seizing the opportunity, the ferocious dog barked loudly and pounced on him. Ah! This crazy dog was truly vicious. As soon as it pounced on the old man, it bit his arm and then shook its head, tearing off a large piece of flesh. You, you're crazy. This ferocious dog didn't look like a stray dog, but rather a domesticated one. However, for some reason, it seemed like a starving wolf, swallowing that large piece of flesh whole. Its bloodshot eyes focused on the old man once again. Before the old man could recover from the fear of having his flesh torn off, the ferocious dog let out a strange howl and lunged at the old man's throat. Beast, stay back. Seeing that he was about to be killed by the ferocious dog, the old man truly felt despair. However, at that moment, he suddenly saw a figure rushing towards him, followed by a flying kick that sent the mad dog flying. Old man, are you all right? It was, of course, Liao Fengi and the old man who had arrived. The old man was clearly dumbfounded by the sudden turn of events. Despite the old man calling out to him several times, he remained silent. Old sir, you're safe now. Please get up. I, I was so scared. Dao Yi, there's something wrong with this mad dog. While the old man took care of the old man, Liao Fengi's gaze never left the frenzied dog. He gradually noticed something peculiar. This mad dog not only went insane, but it also seems to have no pain sensation. As the saying goes, dogs and wolves are tough but vulnerable in the waste area. Logically speaking, Liao Fengi's kick should have been forceful enough. Yet this ferocious dog seemed unaffected by pain. It got up once again. cock a doodle doo Moreover, the injuries on its body made it even more furious. Its eyes turned completely bloodshot, and it viciously locked onto the three people. Howl. Then, with a mouth full of sharp fangs, it leaped forward with a strong push from its hind legs, once again attacking the group. This dog is definitely abnormal. Afraid that the ferocious dog would harm anyone else, Liao Fengi quickly moved and stood in front of the two old men, directly confronting the raging dog. The mad dog, unaware of the danger before it, lunged at Liao Fengi fiercely, like a black lightning bolt. Liao Fengi knew that this kind of beast was agile, so he waited until it was only a foot away before swiftly dodging. Then, he transformed his palm into a finger and rapidly struck the back of the dog's head. Liao Fengi's finger strike was exceptionally powerful, hitting the central nervous system of the vicious dog. 
With a crack sound, the dog let out a miserable cry. After delivering the strike, Liao Fingyi swiftly moved aside. The ferocious dog rolled over and fell onto the grass beside it. Liao Fengi stared for a moment and saw that the dog had indeed lost its ability to continue harming others. He finally breathed a sigh of relief. What? This crazy dog is yours. Oh my. Dahai, how did you end up like this? With the ferocious dog subdued, the old man suddenly threw himself onto the dog, crying profusely. Liao Fengi and the old man finally understood that this mad dog was actually the old man's pet. Sir, what happened in your village these past few days? We've been having strange occurrences. Who knows? Just this morning, everything was fine. The fact that their own dog harmed its owner was already strange to Leo Finti and the old man, but the old man went on to say that such strange incidents have been happening in their village. Are there strange occurrences happening in your village too? Yes, our village has been thrown into chaos. The two men found the old man's words peculiar and began questioning him in detail. It seems like there's a great chaos in the world and demons are starting to appear. As soon as the two men asked about the strange incidents in the village, the old man's face immediately showed fear. He spoke with a grave and nervous expression. All right. Stop working. Let's go home and eat. We understand. Apparently, their village was located just below the foot of the mountain. The land was fertile, allowing everyone to have enough to eat and live a decent life, even though they were not rich. What? What happened here? But about five days ago, a bizarre incident occurred in the village. Two villagers were unloading their tools, planning to return home with their oxen. Unexpectedly, their normally docile big yellow ox suddenly went mad. What happened to the ox? They say that the old yellow ox's eyes suddenly turned bloodshot, and it started jumping and roaring. Eventually, it violently knocked down its owner, and bit into his shoulder with a big mouth. Ah! Then, it twisted its head, and tore off a large piece of flesh from the owner's shoulder, with the skin and blood, and swallowed it in one gulp. You see, this ox is a herbivorous animal, so eating human flesh is something unprecedented. Has this animal turned into a demon? Old man, are you okay? This action left the two witnesses dumbfounded. No one dared to intervene, and the crazed old yellow ox stormed into the village. The old yellow ox rampaged through the village, injuring several people and almost causing fatalities. But unexpectedly, it charged into the stone wall to the south of the village, causing its brain to splatter, and it died on the spot. Aside from the loss of a valuable ox, the villagers were terrified by this strange incident. But the strange occurrences didn't stop there. Soon after, several other domesticated animals like mules, pigs, and donkeys went mad and attacked people. So, you're saying it's not a demon but something else? The most terrifying incident was when a family in the south of the village raised a sheep. Overnight, the sheep bit and killed over a dozen chickens in their home, leaving almost nothing behind. It transformed from a gentle herbivorous animal into a bloodthirsty beast. The sight was unimaginably horrifying. So, even our Dahai has turned into a monster. After hearing the old man's account, both Leo Fengi and Pao Laudao frowned. If what the old man said was true, then it seemed that something unusual was happening in the village and they couldn't just ignore it. If this continues, the peace in the village is in jeopardy. However, at that moment, no one noticed a plump little insect silently crawling out of Dahai's ear. Dao Master, shall we go and take a look at the village? That's a good idea. After all, Funyu Mountain is still far away. Just as Leo Fengi and Paolado were discussing whether to visit the village or not, the little insect quickly crawled into the old man's ear. We'll pass by the foot of the mountain anyway, so it's a good opportunity to visit. Hey old man, take us to your village. Paolado was about to invite the old man to accompany them to the village when he noticed that the old man had lowered his head. 
trembling all over, exhibiting strange behavior. Hey, old man, what's wrong? The two men noticed the old man's peculiar behavior and were wondering when suddenly the old man lifted his head, revealing a fierce expression with his eyes rolling white. Clearly, he had lost his sanity. How did this old man? It seems like he's possessed by a ghost. Then the old man suddenly moved like a stiff wooden puppet, his limbs rigid, creating an incredibly eerie sight. Ah! Ah! Before the two could figure out what was happening, the old man opened his mouth wide and let out a strange cry, pouncing towards them. However, both of them were skilled and easily evaded the attack by swiftly dodging. After missing his attack, the old man swiftly changed his position and targeted the two again. He then leaked towards them, his legs springing forward. At this moment, he no longer resembled an old man, but exhibited agile and nimble movements. Oh no, this old man has lost his sanity. We can't harm him, but this is really troublesome. Now, the two were in a difficult situation. Just a while ago, the old man was a normal person, but for some unknown reason, he had gone mad. They couldn't harm him, but they also couldn't allow themselves to be injured. Liao Fengi saw the old man leaping towards him and pushed Pao Lado aside. He swiftly turned his body to face the old man. In order to protect the old man as much as possible, Liao Fengi seized the old man's wrist, pulling him down from midair. You think I'm easy to mess with? Liao Fengi grabbed the old man's wrist with his left hand and struck him with his right hand. However, at the same time, Pao Lado also stood up. Because Pao Lado stood up behind the old man, Liao Fengi didn't notice. Thus, his attack continued unabated, striking the old man's throat. You brat, do you know how many times you've used me as a human shield? If it weren't for my golden bell shield technique, you would have killed me already. Liao Fengi didn't expect this outcome. Faced with Pao Lado's frenzy, he could only pretend not to have heard. All right, let's find our way down the mountain first. It seems like there's a big problem in this village. But for now, the priority is to take the old man back to the village for medical treatment. Liao Fengi was planning to find a way down the mountain, but he didn't notice that Pao Lado behind him had also become somewhat strange. You carry the dog, I'll carry the old man, and let's go down. After Liao Fengi figured out the route, he was about to call Pao Lado to carry the old man and the dog down the mountain. Smack! Unexpectedly, his back was suddenly kicked forcefully. The kick was quite heavy, and if Liao Fengi didn't have martial arts skills, he would have been seriously injured. Lado! You? Liao Fengi never expected Pao Lado to do this from behind. He turned around to look and realized that Pao Lado had also fallen into the same state as the previous old man. Ladao, how did you also fall victim? Liao Fengi saw that Pao Ladao's expression was sinister and gloomy, and his body was somewhat stiff. Slowly, Pao Ladao approached Liao Fengi. It seems the effect is quite good when used on people. Meanwhile, in a hidden spot within a nearby forested slope, a mysterious figure was lurking on a giant tree, observing the situation below. Well, this is getting interesting. It appears that all these strange events are related to this person. But who is this person? And how will Leo Fenghi deal with the current predicament? <laughs>